And up they come now. Second here for two and three year olds and they're getting set behind the mobile. Fit and Fancy and uh, Professor Tom. Juveniles here, Stealth Cruiser, Sudden Explosion, three year olds engaged and they're coming up well. Make a nice line here, just about set. They're ready. And away in racing this time, and Sudden Explosion had no trouble finding the lead there, worked across easily from the wide draw, wasn't much speed from the others in the early stages. Uh, Professor Tom goes and settles in second position now, in third was Fit and Fancy, and last of the uh, four runners is a Stealth Cruiser. So they come down towards the home turn this first occasion, they've got just over uh, two circuits left to go, about 1800 metres still left to travel, and first into the straight will be Sudden Explosion, leading the way nicely clear, about four or five metres in front. Professor Tom races in second spot as they come down the straight towards the judge with two laps to travel. Uh, in third position, fit and fancy, and last of the four runners now is Stealth Cruiser. So as they reach the winning post, they have just on two circuits left to go. Sudden explosion, a nice leader, four metres in front. Second as they swing out of the straight this time, is held down by Professor Tom. In third position as they go towards the back with uh, just on about 1,500 metres left to travel, fit and fancy, and last is Stealth Cru uh, Cruiser. Into the back straight they go this time, and straightening up for the run down, they've got a lap and three quarters left to go. They've gone the first circuit, sudden explosion on top, a sulkish length clear. Second placing as they race down the back is Professor Tom. In third is Fit and Fancy, and last of the four runners still is Stealth Cruiser. So off that back turn they go, 1200 metres still left to travel. And no change in the order, sudden explosion the leader. Four metres in front, coming down the side from Professor Tom racing in second position. Third is Fit and Fancy, coming up towards the bend with just on one lap to go. And still last of all is Stealth Cruiser. Four runners, seeing no change in the order as they're about to swing into the straight. They have just on one lap to go. Bell about to chime here and trying to do it all the way. Sudden explosion in front and it's got a nice lead still too. On uh, Professor Tom as they race past us once again with just on one lap to go. In third position reaching the winning post was Fit and Fancy and Stealth Cruiser still whips them in. Out of the straight and towards the back. They're inside the 700 metre mark now. And in the final circuit, uh, just allowed a little bit more leather in front, sudden explosion, the leader about four metres clear. Professor Tom still racing keenly with a drop on the leader in second. Held together in third was Fit and Fancy and still last is Stealth Cruiser. In the back the final time, 500 metres left to go. And ask for a little bit more now, sudden explosion still leads from Professor Tom who sticks with it for the moment. They've just crept away a little bit there on Fit and Fancy as they go inside the 400 metre mark. And then came Stealth Cruiser, off the back, sudden explosion, a metre in front, now to the outside, Professor Tom starts to pick up the bit and comes on quickly, and they've raced right away, a fit and fancy put under the stick and back behind those Stealth Cruiser, but on the turn, and Professor Tom, on the outside, has swept up and grabbed the lead here from sudden explosion in second placing, but halfway down the straight, and here's another smart youngster for Gary Quinlan, Professor Tom's cruised away, and goes on to score nicely, he wins about 10 metres in the run home. From Sudden Explosion, who battled on nicely in second spot. Stealth Cruiser on the outside might have got up for third over Fit and Fancy. Not too sure about that when we got back there. We'll leave that one to the judge.